Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi, and today I'm reviewing an N-Scale moving bus system by Tomitech. This is a complete set that includes a bus, a bus chassis, and several sections of roadway plus some other miscellaneous parts. The bus looks like it would be appropriate for maybe a 1950s or 1960s era layout. This set, including all the parts shown here, has an MSRP of $129.98. Tomitech also offers the buses separately in other colors. So one cool thing is the bus itself actually comes as a static model with a, a non-operating chassis and an interior. So you could use this bus just as a non-operating model somewhere if you wanted to. Tomitech also offers bus chassis separately, so it might be possible to use one of those with some other brand of bus shell and create your own bus. However, in order to use it with the chassis, you have to take all that other stuff out and just put the shell of this bus onto this chassis. Tomitech also offers bus chassis separately, so it might be possible to use one of those with some other brand of bus shell and create your own bus. I should also point out that the chassis has two pieces you have to add. There's this front piece and this rear piece, and I would have taken them off and shown how to do that, except that they're on there really tight, and I'm afraid I'm going to break something if I take it apart again. But this basically carries light to the headlights and taillights. So to get this apart, you have to spread the sides of the bus slightly, and the bottom should come out. The seats are a little harder to get out. A little screwdriver or something can help. Just kind of work them out and then take them out. So putting the bus chassis in is very easy. Uh, once it's assembled, you just push it in. So the bus has a USB charging jack, and it comes with a USB cable that you can plug into a computer or some other USB power source. And you just plug it in the bottom. And the instructions say that it takes about 80 minutes to charge, and that seems about right based on my experience with testing it. One thing I will say is when you're pulling the cable out, hold the bottom of the chassis because this has a tendency to pull the whole thing out of the shell. The set comes with several roadway sections. There are smaller radius curves and larger radius curves, and then some straight sections, and then this special set of three sections, which is the bus stop. Now, they don't give you enough of either curve to make a complete circle just with one radius or the other. You end up having to use both. That gives you a slightly lopsided oval, but it works just fine. You can also buy more of these separately, and these are designed to fit together, so if you wanted to make a double lane roadway and have two buses going, you could do that. So the way this works is there's a piece of metal wire embedded in the road, and there's a magnet under the bus that actually steers it. So it's pretty clever. There's also a little switch right here which turns the bus on and off. The road sections are fairly easy to assemble. You kind of put them together at a slight angle and then just flatten them and they snap together. And if you want to take them apart, you just um, basically do the opposite. This is the bus stop and it has a switch on it that says stop and go. This is go and this is stop. And if you just put it in this way, what'll happen is the bus will come in and it will stop and then when you want it to go, you just flip the switch and it'll go. If you leave it on go, it'll run through the bus stop without stopping. Now, they also have this extra little magnet, which fits on, there's a little hole in it, and it's got a little peg here, and you fit it like here. If you put this on, then when it's in the stop position, the bus will come in and stop for a few seconds and then start again on its own. Or if you put it in the go position, it'll just keep going like before. So you got to get this thing in the right place. And this is the bus stop section. So it kind of goes right where the seam is, kind of goes right between these two prongs. And it should just... So the set also includes these little clips if you want to put them under here, which will hold this more securely. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because we're just demonstrating it, but you can use those if you want to. They will also hold adjacent sections of roadway together if you have them. So to get this going, you hit the switch on the bottom of the bus, and it should come on. And then you just set it on the track, and it'll take care of itself from then on. One thing I noticed that's kind of cool is that the headlights actually dim when it stops, and the taillights get brighter as if the brakes are on. And it just runs around following the wire. 
There are a couple other magnets in the set. You can put those under the road in different places if you want the bus to speed up or slow down. One thing I noticed is that the bus comes to a rather abrupt halt when it gets to the bus stop. It would be really nice if there was some kind of a momentum circuit built into the chassis so that it would slow down and stop rather than just jerk to a halt. So if you switch this to go, then the bus will just run through. I let this thing run for about three and a half hours before I needed to recharge it too, so that's a pretty good run time. This is what the headlights look like when the bus is stopped. They're fairly dim, so they can be hard to see unless the room is dark, but still they are there. It would look really good in a night scene. So this is what the tail lights look like when the bus is stopped. Again, they're pretty dim unless the room is dark, they're hard to see. The set also includes some extra rubber tires for the bus and some detail parts for the bus stop if you want to use them. Overall, I think this is really neat. It would make a great piece of moving scenery on a layout. And I did try it with a piece of paper over the track and the bus still did its thing without a hiccup. So it might be possible to put a very thin veneer of something over the roadway if you wanted to make it look a little more realistic. It would be nice if Tomitech would come out with some maybe more modern bus designs. They have a bunch of Japanese prototype buses, but unfortunately the doors are on the wrong side, so that doesn't really help you if you're modeling North America. Still, I think this is a pretty neat product. It does what they say it does, and it works pretty well, so I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.